Happy noon o'clock on Monday, Laura's checking in. How y'all doing? With her peeps. TV, because I'm a millennial now, apparently, um, and uh, you can watch some of the replays. I, I feel like I've hit a lot of topics that uh, people are going through right now, but I'm really excited today because i got a little Eddie Cochran going. Um, you know how song, like, uh, uh, a song can just be, uh, oh, every time you hear that song, you always think of that person, no matter where you are, it's just, when it comes on, it just hits you like a ton of bricks. Uh, that song for me is, is, is I, the song, when I hear it, it's my friend Chiquitis, Chaco. She calls me Chiquitis. She's my Chaco. She's my OG BFF from back in the day. I haven't seen her in a really long time. And here's what's so cool. I was thinking about this this morning. This is one of the reasons why I'm doing this. It's, it's a reminder right now as we're at 75,000 people uh, is the, is the death toll right now that, uh, people you haven't seen in a long time, people you haven't talked to in a long time, now is the time. So if it, if this motivates you to do anything today, that's the thing. Reach out to somebody you haven't talked to in a while and connect with them because, um, life's precious, man, right? Life's precious. And this is, uh, this is a real deal. So I am really, really super excited. Um, to talk to my friend Chaco is in the house. She has a really cool hair salon. She's had one for, uh, God, I feel like over a decade now. It was in Silver Lake or Echo Park, and, and it now has moved to Frogtown, downtown LA. I have yet to, be to, the, uh, to go to the new location, but it is kind of like the hot spot right now. So um, I'm excited to check in with her. Small businesses, right? They're, they're, how they're maneuvering through this, and just to, just to see her face balls, man. Oh, this is gonna be fucking wild, wild, amazing wild. And this is her first time live. So, pretty cool. Yes, queen. Are you coming on? Are you joining me? Lisa Mayer is in the house, y'all. John! John! Oh my God! <laughs> Hi! Oh my God! Spring Cooper's here. I remember Spring Cooper. Uh, What's up, Spring Cooper? What's up, bro? What's up? <laughs> oh my God! Hi. This is fucking amazing, you guys. I haven't seen this woman in a very long time. So this is, and obviously so, we are kin with our eye kit, with our eyewear. What? I know. Dude, I love your eyewear. Oh my God, Shaco the needs. I love yours. <laughs> so good. I was so excited to put on lipstick today. I've been wearing them, you know, like. What? Incredible. <laughs> Me too. I kind of bumped it up a notch today. I Me too. Up, up a notch today. What? Oh we my God. We haven't seen each other in a very long time. I mean, I mean long literally, time. this could be a 10 hour conversation. 
But oh my I know God. you got shit to do in all this. <laughs> I can't believe it. Small business owner here that's just killing it. Yeah. What, uh, um, oh my God, girl, what about that Eddie Cochran song? I feel uh, like that was the summer of, of, what was it, like 89, 91, what was it? It was the God. Sex Pistols came out with their version. And oh. then you turned me on to the OG version. It's so good. <laughs> it's so funny because you know what I was thinking of today? Back in Santa Monica days, when we were like having a Sunday hangout, and I had always thought Van Morrison's Brown Eyed Girl was right. the Stones. That was like a million years ago. And you were like, what? It's Van, it's Van Morrison. Hello. And like totally changed my life to like, just like a Van Morrison, you know, freak out. I had no idea, but I just thought of that this morning because it was such a like crucial moment in like my Van Morrison journey, you know? <laughs> have you seen him live? I've seen him live, he's amazing. I have, I've only seen I, him live once. I, I sat in front of Angelica Houston when I saw him and I was just like, I was fangirling out. I'm like, Angelica You're like, Who do Houston's I watch? behind me. <laughs> oh my God, she's behind me. Right, you're all, let me just put on my what's happening back there. Oh my God. Wait, so I, great. I feel like I know Brian. Look at some of these cool people that are coming on. Uh, this is amazing. Brian. You Brian know who's here? Hi, okay. Brian. You know who's here? Rachel. Re <gasps> Re Rachel. Re oh Re my God. Oh my God. This uh, is amazing. My friend, the tiny. You haven't met oh. my, my friend, the tiny. She, he's amazing. I haven't met the tiny. I don't know who DP DPR. 2004 is, but you know what? Welcome, dude. Welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome. welcome. <laughs> oh my God. I can't okay, believe so, it. Okay, so Chica, we can talk for like 10 hours, but right yeah, now, okay. I want to find yeah. out how the hell you've been maneuvering through this quarantine cinch. Like, what's, wow. been, what's the routine? <laughs> well, I have to say, <laughs> honest, I mean, yeah, it's so exciting. Well, okay, what changed for me when it first, the first few weeks, I felt like comatose. Like I would check in on Instagram and people are like, yeah, I did like four classes. I did like, you know, on and on and on. And I was like, I like barely got up. Like I was just like, I can't, I, I don't know what to do. Yeah. yeah. I was just like, I'm not yeah. even, I'm going to do that in three days. Like yeah. it was really hard. And then my, and my coffee shop was closed in the neighborhood. Right. And so, so your whole routine, the routine is out of whack terrible I was so just like I can't I can't make it and then my coffee shop reopened like two weeks into it Thank and God. suddenly it like changed my whole perspective like it just gave me like seeing people and see you know just like checking in with the peeps yeah. like the daily like hi make it you know it just like changed my whole vibe and um uh, have you been, been zooming or facetiming yeah a little bit I uh I zoomed a couple of times facetime and I've been doing these color kits at the shop. So that's been really cool. Like all the stylists, if they have clients that want color, like I'll go in and make all the color kits. And so I see people, you know, at a social yeah. distance, but it's like really just changed my life to like, you know, we have such a like highly social job yeah. and then to go to like er, nothing. Yeah. So that's been really cool. And just like getting to check in with all those people. And so wait a minute, are you going, so you're going, you're physically going into the salon, yeah. making these kits. That's right. How cool is that? What a creative way to do this. Ma making these kits, and then how do you get them to the client? So we do like a curbside pickup. So I have a table out in front of the shop, they call when they come, and then I put it out, they Venmo or whatever, and we just sort of keep this distance. And I am the only one doing it for all of the stylists, just because I wanted to keep it really um you know just like minimal people organized, in the minimal yeah. yeah so it's been, oh my god it's been great it's well, been so also, great you're the owner of the business so you know yeah. it's like the buck stops with you so you know it's yeah. like if you're so, not going in there there's only one other person going in there so what um oh my god so this new salon is downtown yeah well, okay Okay, I feel like a little bit like I, I guess I'm not okay. I'm not I'm not hip to see my friend Lisa Mayer has always been you fucking finger on the pulse all the time, oh all the time. Yeah. So oh what's my God. wait, what's Frogtown? What's Frogtown? Okay. Frogtown is basically if you're at Dodger Stadium, right? Okay. And you go down the backside to get on the five freeway, you go down the like back hill yeah. to get on the five. The five runs along the um LA River. Okay. So 
Frogtown is this little nook that's like on the side of the five, a side of the LA River, yeah. between like Dodger Stadium, downtown, and Atwater. And it's okay. just this like and it's kind of consi it's considered downtown, right? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I mean it's it it's is own little people, funky. I think people lump it into downtown, but it's definitely it's closer to Atwater. And okay. um, it's just it's like a neighborhood but the bottom block that's all along the bike path I can't stop doing this with my hands but <laughs> along the bike path you know that oh my god you're totally froze in the weirdest position I love Am you I? because I do that all the fucking time I freeze <laughs> in like the creepiest position okay that uh, is uh, so funny okay uh, so uh, tiny says it sounds like Atwater it's so yeah that's yeah that, that's the same yeah yeah Wait, it's right next to Atwater who is this for real? I love you, Lisa. Who's for real? Tashi. Who's for real? Oh my God. Isn't Tashi who I love, love, love? Tashi. <laughs> you would love Tashi. She's Chaco, this is the first time you're ever doing a live, right? Oh my God. Yeah. Ever. Okay, wait. It's can I just so tell you the first crazy. time I did this? I was like a, a 90 year old woman. It was hysterical. It took me about oh my God. 20 minutes just to figure this shit out. Now I'm like all about it, apparently. Um, oh my god, you're so good at it. Wait, um, I just have to say, I loved you and Adam together. And I'm sorry about your mother in law. That was the most beautiful. It was it was incredible. It was really, really a beautiful not to just take it down. But yeah. it was so incredible. I loved it so much. And I feel like everybody did it was so important to like, hear it. And yeah, you know, yeah, really see what you guys are you know, really like, I don't know. Thank you for sharing it. It was yeah, incredible. You know, it was, and, yeah, it was, it was funny. Cause we, you know, like I said in it, I, you know, I didn't want to do one of these. It's like, you know, yeah. come on, man. This is a, it was definitely an excuse to go dark, but you know, I think this is what's really, you know, the, the, this is at the core of the reason, right. Yeah. You know, connecting, yeah. making people feel less alone and that no, you know, it's, that's what people are going through right now. We just did a, um, uh, a cremation a ceremony yesterday where Adam and, and Fred were, were there and we got to Zoom it. And I was oh, just like, wow. this is going to be really creepy. This is good. I didn't even know what to expect. And you know what? Yeah. It was so fucking beautiful. It was wow. so beautiful. It was like, oh my God, it was really kind of, it was, it was beautiful. I mean, so obviously we're going to have a wow. memorial and we're going to do the whole thing. Yeah. We're out of this mess, but um, I'm really glad we did it because at first I was like, "This no, I, no, yeah. he didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it." So, um, so uh, oh. Hollywood's Hollywood Forever uh, is is knocking it out of the park with doing creative things to make make people feel like they're having closure. You know what I That's mean? That's incredible. A little yeah. bit of closure. So now I'm all all a fan. Now I got to go to one I, of their outdoor. I love that. Work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, it's a great place. I mean, it's so cool. Like everything that they do there. But I'm. I'm so happy that that happened and it was great because I, it really touched me and I feel like it, you know, it was important. Thanks, Chaco. Uh, Wait, what is behind you right now? Is that a painting that you drew, that you painted? No, no, no. That is from Show Pony, the store that used to be next door to us a million years ago, Kimmy Bazzelli. It's one of hers and I took it down on a total freak out where I was like, I'm going to move this picture. It's so heavy. It's like behind the couch. I can't, I can't move it. So it's just, <laughs> So it's like right there. I love it. You know, it was like, I think it's crooked. I'm totally going to fix it. Here it goes. Wait, I just have to tell you, like, oh my God, this is going to be like, uh, seriously, this, this, this whole conversation could be like squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Oh and my I God. I have so much to touch base with you on. Me but, too, me um, too. What, uh, um, oh my God. And now I forgot. Oh, so there was a piece of art that you posted. You guys got to follow her on social media, you guys. Oh uh, and for so replay watchers, Lucas, what is it? Lucas LA? Lucas Los Lucas Angeles. Lucas Los Angeles. Lucas yeah, Los yeah. Angeles. But um, Senator Mayor, oh my God, you have this piece <laughs> of art that was done by um, disabled kids. Um, oh, from and, Creative Growth. That's oh really my the God. one to follow. It, 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 I immediately, I saw it and I immediately yeah. started following them and I'm obsessed now. I'm it's, obsessed. And they're adults. It's incredible. If you go to Oakland, you can visit the center. It's beautiful. And they do a fashion show, like a benefit fashion show. I think it's once a year, but it could be twice a year. It's, it is incredible. There. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's so uh, beautiful. So they're based out of Oakland. Yeah. And you can go and tour it. 
it's incredible. Like when we can all travel again, you know, know. that would be great. Oh, I know. I, I'm so inspired by them always, always yeah. and forever. It was I like, went to a fashion show and was like crying. It was like, what you know, 10 well, years Well, I went ago. down the rabbit hole. You know, when you go down yeah. the rabbit hole on social media, oh like, all of a sudden I'm doing all this research and I'm seeing their videos and I'm watching their shit. And yes. I was like, this is fucking amazing. This it's is amazing. pretty awesome. Oh, I okay, love it so, so much. I'm glad you um, love it. Okay, so your so your coffee place is open, praise God. Yes. Um, and uh, what else? How else have you been doing? So you do the you do the color kits. So do the color kits. What's um, gonna happen? What's gonna happen when we're out of this? So uh, uh, yeah. we're in Los Angeles. So uh, right. uh, we're are, we're locked down till the fifteenth. So that means the sixteenth. Uh, uh, are you already booking appointments on the starting the sixteenth? No, we had to move it because we're in the phase three. So they're doing phase two, right, where they're going to open some retail tomorrow, Friday. They're going to do like a soft opening, but they're pushing hair salons. So we probably won't be open till June. Um, so what I started doing is just taking names and we'll just have, um, you know, call people when we get closer to knowing exactly when we're opening because we've rescheduled a few times. Um, Wait, but... this is the first time I'm hearing this information. Yeah. When did this happen? Yesterday? um it happened maybe it was to, friday to what i knew that yeah. we were a hair salons were going to be opening on the 16th not in la la is not um i don't know if it's different because are you technically santa monica or are you guys around the, no we're la we're you LA. are la yeah so we we can't open we can't open then we got to push so what i'm doing now is we're all trying to figure out um what to do, like how we're going to go back into it. So I've been like, you know, ordering stuff like sanitation. I'm looking into getting like face shields. So when you, you know, when we're working on people, if I'm like doing a bang trim on you, um, we have something between us, like just trying to get all oh the information God. on what, what we have to do to get back to it. You know, God, this is a lot. Yeah. This is, yeah, this is so really different. crazy. So really what? Uh, so what's going on with? Are, is it your landlord? And you don't have to answer this if you if you don't want. But is your landlord being cool about rent and and all that shit? I heard a really good um, solution. I have to say this before you say this. Yeah. If yeah. they are making you pay rent, one of the yeah. cool things that's happening right now that I know that because my aunt has some properties, they're right. they're they're offering that you can take your security deposit. You know, when you first move in, you get a security oh. deposit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In lieu of a month of rent. And I thought that was a really creative way. I mean, obviously that is. the nicest thing is to say, hey, we're all in this together. Here's a freebie oh, on yeah. us. But, um, yeah. you know, like that's ever going to fucking happen. But um, yeah. at least it's like, hey, man, small businesses, right. like you you got to cut us some slack, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's been, it's been really crazy. I have to say my most stressful thing about this, like, time has been trying to apply for grants and loans and all these things that just give me like a panic attack, you know, because it's just like all the things I'm not good at. But I, you know, I did have my landlords, the commercial landlords were like, you know, we want our money. It was it was a little bit of a rough one. So I um, did get a little bit of money that I just paid towards that, you know, right. so that hopefully with the stylist, like when we all get back to it, we can just move forward and not have to like, you know, I don't have to like pay this back right away. But yeah, it was, it was a little disappointing. You know what I mean? It was, a, it was definitely like, well, that might be it, a creative but... solution that you could ask him to say, yeah, hey, listen, for June, please right. do this for us. Take the security deposit that I put down or whatever, partial, yeah. whatever. I'm sure you gave a, some kind of deposit, right? Yeah. No, I definitely, definitely did. It's kind of a cool For thing sure. to do. It's a, it's a great idea. I had no idea um, that you could do that. But I love it because June is coming up. And I hope that some people think it might be July that we open. But I'm really, like, so hopeful it's June. We're all so ready to get back, you know, and just do it. It's crazy. Shaco Benin's. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, my ah! oh my god okay uh, uh, taco <laughs> that truck do you have that truck anymore you guys she had this truck that was no it ran on propane 
It, it was the most badass truck. Oh it my god! It was so badass. <laughs> you know it, it was. was so fun. What was it? What it was a Chevy? It was a Ford. A Ford. It was a. It was a Ford. Um, I can't remember what year. It was in the '60s. It was a three on a tree clutch that was then propane. My dad converted it to propane, and it was fucking bananas. It was so much fun. That I mean, truck was amazing. Lunchtime. It was a fucking in nightmare truck. in the summer. Yes. yes. Nightmare because of nightmare no air conditioning. So you just would. <laughs> You would be like a fucking sauna in that thing. I'm and totally also, sorry. if we had to go like to a show or whatever, right? Go to Hollywood or do something like that. Um, we had to make sure that I had enough propane because you couldn't <laughs> get propane anywhere. And my dad would be like, I don't know. Do you have enough propane? And like, the propane place, like the, the hours were like from 10 to 2, you could get propane. <laughs> so like if exactly. you missed those hours, you were fucked. You know exactly. I mean? You were totally not going to the show, is what it you said. She also got a car from Rob Thomas from Mac Batch Box 20. <laughs> I did. Oh, oh, I want to hear that story. It was, what? it was, what? Uh, Brian. Oh my God. Yes. Have I met Bye -bye. Brian? I am. Um, hmm? Brian, Brian, yeah, Brian, I think that you did. Dude, Maybe at the you? show. <laughs> I'm I not like sure. Hey, he's so funny. Bri Bri. Um, I worked on Matchbox 20 for a long time and they did this video uh, called Bent. I think it was Bent. And it was like in the 90s. And they had to get two of these cars that were like, a, um, oh my God, Brian, what was the car? Now I'm totally forgetting. It's like a Lincoln yeah. Continental with suicide doors. You know, <laughs> like the, like a, like old, like, and one of them, they crashed. And then they had the other one and they didn't, they were like, we're going to give you the car. So they gave me the car which was like super sweet. It was like, like $600 a... to fill the tank. Exactly. But the funny thing was I went to try to get it smogged or registered or whatever. Cause I was like, what the fuck am I going to do with this car? But I'm just going to, you know, why not? Okay. And um, it was kind of fun. And then nobody knew where they got the car from. There was no pink slip. There was no anything. So I wound up having to donate it in the end because it was like, just fell off. Driving it illegally. Rock. Yeah, it was like. Hey, Chica, what's 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 the what's the contact place for people to reach you at Lucas? I learned this new thing that I can pin a website in oh. this little live Insta. It's so. Oh cool. my god! So okay, um, in the comments, Lucas... how you do it? I'm gonna teach okay. you a new thing. So okay. in the comment section, write yeah. your website where, or uh, your business email, and I can pin it to the bottom. Oh, Hello. How okay, cool that's that? so cool. So we are Lucas everybody's learning new shit. La dot com. Okay, but I will say we're still working on this website. <laughs> this website is a little. Wait, did I do it? No. Yeah, there. LucasLA dot com. Yeah, and now look, pin. See, now I pinned it. Oh my god, Woo! Chiquitis. You are really okay. Killing so, it. Uh, what about that photo that I posted? <gasps> Wait a minute! I found this photo. Oh my oh! god! Oh my god! <laughs> Isn't that so funny? I love it. It's oh my so god! Cute. The knees. Oh my god! Um, you and but... that short hair. You were so fucking chic with that short hair. Oh my hair. god! Wait, look what I found. First of all, this got in some waterlogged weird thing and it got halfway deleted look at us what Isn't oh my crazy? god this is genius i know it got oh all messed up but it was so fun oh i was my cracking god. up i wish there was more to that bottom picture because we're missing you on that bottom one but have, that's I half of it I have that beautiful picture of you that I think Jeremy took years ago. That photo oh. shoot of you. Oh, I love that photo. Oh, this one's my over God. here. Wait. <laughs> this one is on my mantle. Oh my God, I have it too. Wait, I have it too, but I can't. Uh, my my frame is like a little messed up. That's so that is funny. all joy, my friend. That is all fucking joy. That okay, you guys, is... we, I just have to tell the story. We did this. We did this little photo shoot. I was getting headshots or some shit, right? Yeah. And we did this photo shoot because we were gonna <laughs> we were gonna start a show. Remember that? Mm -hmm. We were gonna start a show. And I forgot what? about that. Hello. Yes. Bucket list done. I know. This oh my is God. our show. <laughs> this is 
so amazing. <laughs> This is our show. I love it. Oh my God. It's okay, so, so what great. have you been doing? Let's hear it through the day. Like, what's your okay. routine? I want to hear your routine during the day because I'll be honest with you, I'm having a really hard time motivating, especially as the weeks go by. I just yeah. keep getting, like, here's what I'm concerned about. When we get out of this, I'm yes. on this rhythm now that's kind of a little bit vacation mode. I'm not going to lie. It's a little right? bit vacationing. It's kind of weird. I feel the same. Well, I sort of had a freak out last week because I realized that this is the only time I'm ever going to get to organize my paperwork that I've been talking about, like, since the beginning of time. So I'm every day I've been doing like shredding and just like, I really hadn't done this in so long. So I'm trying to do a little bit of that's sort of my day is organizing. Okay. And I also You've always um, been that way. Do you have a list? Do you have your list? Oh my God, Chaco, you in the fucking list. Yes. It's like You've always the been list a list on this. Yeah. It's the like, it's a deep hole that you can't get out of because then you need a list deep to find the list that to list, find the man. other one. Yeah. No, it's Ever terrible. Since I've known you. The yeah. list. I still have the list and the <laughs> list is long and dumb. And it gets on little like pieces of paper that's stuck in like my wallet. And then I find it like a year later. You know, it's the same. Terrible. And I always think like, oh, I just need if I had like a big, you know, bulletin board, I could have like one main list. No. Right. And then it. she loses the list. <laughs> always, always cannot find it. Brain okay, always. so you're doing paperwork. So I'm doing paperwork. I'm trying to get organized. Um, I'm hanging out with, um, I have um, a couple of geriatric dogs and one of them has uh, congestive heart failure. So just like hanging out, you know, spending like a little extra time. So that's been really like you, the do, nice thing about it. Do you it. go for walks with them or are they not? No, he, yeah, they no, he can't, can't go for it. Now. No, he can't, he can't, uh, he's really. Uh, are you getting like out, that. are you getting out at all? Besides a little the bit. driving to Lucas? Right. A little bit. Not like I want to. Like, I do keep having this idea I'm going to, like, do this walk thing every single day. And then every day I think, tomorrow's that day. <laughs> and that day hasn't happened yet. So, um, That sounds like me. I start the day with what's, thinly cut what you melon. Have? Thinly cut melon. Oh my, my decaf coffee. I have... Oh. I'm planning my my meals for the day, and then by five o'clock, fucking carb central, bitches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just had a carb. There's a really good uh, bagel place in Silver Lake called Maury's. Have you heard of Maury's? I don't no, know we need one too. It's so delicious. I and I've been like gluten free for a while, and I just had to like go. I had to get bagels. Like I just, I'm having like a half a bagel every day. I'm carbing out. They're so good. Oh, oh my God. God. Now it's going to be in my head. Thanks. Thanks, Sorry. Chaco. You're welcome. You're you know welcome. What I've been doing? I've been that binging, I'm you. binging on these. Have you done, have oh, you done yeah. these yet? I have. Those are good. I'm still hooked on LaCroix. Still, really? Yeah. But I also, this is also my jam. I can't Oh, stop. Yes. yes. I just, yes. it's like everywhere yes. I go all the yes. time. Yes. It's pretty beyond. Yeah. It's that has caffeine thing. in it though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Have you given up all caffeine? No, but, uh, you know, like at three, I have to stop drinking caffeine, especially right now with a oh little bit of God. anxiety. I stopped yeah. drinking caffeine at three o'clock. And if literally, if I drink caffeine at three 30, yeah. I, I feel it. I'm up. You know what I mean? You're up all night. Wow. Yeah. I just don't have a good sleep. I'm kind of, yeah. you know, I'm just, it's, it's, it's not no bueno for me. But you know, I, know. Me, I have such an addictive behavior that I go through like 10 of these a day. Yeah, no, I'm the same with LaCroix. I'm just like, or I'm like, it's kind of not cold enough. Now I need a new one. Oh, it's really so Oh my crazy. God, like the iced tea is a jack in the box. Oh, oh my God. Always and forever. When I lived across the street, it was like the most dangerous thing ever, ever, ever. You always had to have the big iced tea. Yes. Cute, lots of ice. Extra ice. Taco. <laughs> so true you know some things never change except i don't do ice with the like japanese tea i just drink it straight from the thing but man love it you're you're right. look at your hippie hair check out that you're fucking hippie now look at this it's it. crazy well it was kind of a mullet i've just been growing since um i sort of decided that i was gonna 
grow my hair and not touch it while we're in lockdown. Yeah, I love like, it. Let's see nobody else is Pull doing. back a little so I can see your hair. Oh my God. Wait, pull back a little bit more right there. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, I love it. Thank you. Wait, do go to the side a little. I want to see the side view. Let's see. Oh my God. Can I do that? Is that it? There it oh is. Oh my God. That is it's, so, am your hair looks amazing. Thank you. And I love the color. I love the color. Thanks. This is all mine up here. This is not mine on the bottom, but this is all. It's so bad. I love your natural hair color. <laughs> Thank you. It makes it easy. I just add color if I want to, you know? It's okay, so, so then in the, so what are you doing for meals? Are you, are, are you cooking? Oh my God. I mean, it's like a nightmare. Um, no, I don't really cook. I've like got, um, I could do a quesadilla. I can steam an artichoke. I, it's like, no. Are you cook? Are you guys cooking? You guys cook. Okay, first of sure. all, I can't cook for shit. I can't and either. I, not only that, but the kitchen, cooking in the kitchen stresses me out so much that every me time too. I go in it and I make something, it's like a tornado just hit. Adam's yeah. like, you're like a 13 year old in the kitchen. I really am. I, I'm like, Same. everything's just, you know, I just yeah. punk rock that kitchen. But uh, so Adam's been doing most of the cooking. Um, and um, yeah, I'm, you know, it's, it's, I'm getting a little bored every once in a while we go out, yeah. but yeah. It's, it, we, you know, we do a takeout or something, but right? uh, he's trying to, he's trying to eat clean. He's on Atkins. And of course now there's a meat shortage. So who the, who the hell knows? So, right. it's, okay. So listen to this. It's his birthday today. It's the big five. It's, today. Oh my God. Happy birthday to yeah. him. So it's his birthday today. So, so uh, I asked him what he wanted for his birthday and he yeah. said meat. <laughs> just any kind or just meat. Just so meat. People are getting him meat. This is so great. For his this 50th so birthday, he'll great. always remember his meat. His meat birthday. Oh my God. <laughs> his meat birthday. Is it already cooked or does he have to cook it? <laughs> I mean, you that's, know, my yeah. God, he's a simple guy. What can I that's do? That's incredible. Please. That's incredible. I love that. Oh my God. Well, you know what? Happy birthday. Like, eat all the meat you want. Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> It's a big I, slab of me. Oh, God. Um, yeah, but I've been, uh, yeah, yeah, but, you know, so we're just kind of, we're making the same things over and over and over and over and over again. I'm so fucking bored. I'm so yeah. bored of the same fucking shit. And I I'm feel just, you. I, <laughs> well, I get, I got really into, like, Amy's frozen foods, you know, because, like, I'm just like, okay, well. They I have a couple good ones. What, what's a they good one? Do. What's a good one? Um, I like, they have like a kale and um, noodle thing that's like a gluten-free that's super yummy. They have some super yummy burritos. Yeah, uh, they do. I've had those. Those yeah, are good. Those are they're good. They're good. I'm just trying to mix it up a little bit. But I, um, I don't know. I just try to order out like once a week or twice a week. I'm just like bored all the time. Wait a minute, Brian just said something that literally I have a visceral response to. He said, Lisa makes great Parmesan toast. Yes! Yes, she does! Yes! She is the OG. She taught me how to make Parmesan toast. And to this, and not only that, but it has affected it. many people's lives here afterwards. Because this now Adam loves my Parmesan toast. Oh, Everybody about yes. me, I make the same, it's a very specialized way of making. <laughs> Uh, 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 Chaco, can you walk us through uh, your special Parmesan toast? My Parmesan toast is... Oh, and that's the other thing. Parmesan. 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 Um, I like to do it on sourdough bread. Always. And I toast it a little bit, put some, take it out, put some butter on it, Parmesan cheese it, broil it, done. Done. You're welcome, done. people. Listen, you're welcome. You think it sounds simple. <laughs> it's actually not as simple as you think. All right. Be oh careful out there. God. <laughs> it's really, it's like the one thing I can do. And now I can. No, you can, you kill it. You kill the It's really taken me a long time to get in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. It's so what are you doing? Are you, 
are you like physical distancing? I love that. My, my yeah. stepsister came on and she works in an HIV rehab uh, for oh. drugs and alcohol. And she was talking Incredible. about, she doesn't say social distancing. She says physical distancing. Cause in your mind you think, oh my God, more isolation, more isolation. So I love that. Are you physically yeah. distancing, like uh, okay. getting together with friends at all? Or are you just like, no. Um, not too much, but uh, my friend Kelly came over last week and we like sat on the other side of my gate outside my house. I sat on my porch and we like chit chatted. Oh, um, yeah, I'm going to pick up, uh, my friend did some um, masks. I'm going to go over there and like do a little, you know, hang like a few feet away. But uh, yeah, I just, um, not as much, but you know, a little bit. How about you? Are you guys like seeing people? Are you doing a little physical distance? No, as a matter of fact, yeah. I don't think I've left the house in four days. Wow, that's amazing. Like at all. That's, Adam's been doing yeah. the marketing. Wow. Um, I haven't left the house in four days. I don't have any pre-existing. Um, I have yeah. a little respiratory from smoking for so many years. Right, um, right. But for the most part, I'm cool. Um, my mom really wants us to come out uh, for Mother's Day. And oh, yeah. we're, we're, we're thinking about it because um, we've both been very diligent about it. Right. Uh, and, and she's got a big house. We're thinking so about can... it. Um, and uh, okay. but other than that, yeah, no, I I, I haven't been uh, going out at all pretty much right now. Yeah. Yeah. I pretty much. Well, you know, I do go get my coffee every day. I go to the shop a few days a week, so right. I'm out and I go to the store. But um, yeah, mostly like, you know, talking on the phone or FaceTiming or yeah. any of that, you know. Yeah. But it's really nice to see people. That's for sure. Oh, Even far away. You know what? Like everybody's been sharing about missing hugs. Yeah. A hundred percent. Oh my God. A hug is everything. Like who would have thought? You take it for granted. Hug? We're yeah. huggers. We're huggers. huggers. Like yeah. you take it for granted and all of a sudden you're like, yeah, it feels, my, it feels weird. It feels you know, weird. Like man. you see people from far and you're like, hi, hi <laughs> from up there. It's coming. It's coming your way. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So, so then what are you doing at night? What are you binging on? Are you watching a lot of TV? Well, you know, yeah, a little bit. Well, not a lot, but I've been, I got super into Bosch. Do you watch, have you watched Bosch? I watch, I haven't, wa I haven't gotten into it yet. No, but I hear it's I really, fantastic. I love all the LA stuff, you know, it's like all sort of like LA noir, you know, they're yeah. going to move. So like LA Friday confidential. Like, yeah. 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 So that part I really love. What about you guys? What have you been doing? Have you been watching anything? Uh, well, anything? Rachel turned us on to, um, uh, or uh, an, what is it? Unorthodox? That was oh, I really want to see that. I, um, I have, we're I deep into that. the Sopranos. We we uh, we are re binging it, and so we're on the final season now. Okay, um, this is what I gotta do. Wait, I hate to tell you this, I never saw the end of it. Do you remember when it was on, and there was like the writers' strike in the middle of it, and then it didn't come on for like. 14 months or something I right. fell off and that was like the last couple of seasons I think and I never watched it I never watched the end okay I think well, you'll see me. Me. I'm in episode I'm in uh, season five you'll yeah see me for like a second great With I'm gonna watch the it. most ridiculous hairdo I've had some ridiculous tv hairdos I mean oh. ridiculous but this might have been oh my, well, no, my castle one was even more ridiculous but this I would might have been up like there. a montage of your hairdos <laughs> if like that ever is a project like that would be incredible you know what you know what Chaco it was my journey into character actor <laughs> it's incredible <laughs> well you know it's important the hair can really make it right <laughs> I'm like, I don't even have that excuse with my hairdos, but I just, yeah, you know, no, oh my no God, character so actor, but just, you, you know. have to watch it. It's I'm going to watch it. Amazing. Amazing it's, show. And the ending is, was so controversial. Really. I, no, I like, remember. Got... And I kept saying, don't tell me I'm going to watch it. And yeah. like, you know, now I'm still not watching it. I've got to, I've got to do it. <laughs> it's <laughs> I so good. It. I just, it makes Ugh. me, oh, it just brings me so much joy. Um, yeah. And so what, what, uh, what, how's the fam? Can we talk about the fam for a second? Yeah, they're good. Um, every the Topanga folks are just hanging in Topanga, keeping it, you know, just just them up there. My brother's in Washington. He has a new baby. He with his second wife. So I have like my niece and nephew who are seventeen and fifteen, and then new little baby who's like six months in the. Oh in the house. my god! 
so it's cute. So every day Little sends JK. a picture. Yeah, yeah. So he's got a new. So there's Otto and Violet, and then Baby Sunny. Sunny's the new boy. I saw a picture of Otto and Violet. They're like, oh my god, they're it, like large. Crazy. They're large people now. They are large people. Otto's like almost six feet, and Vi's like five seven or something. They're just like big teens. It's crazy. It's crazy. When does that happen? It's so weird. Okay, so they're up there, and the, the Panga folks are up into Pangs. Yeah, that must just, be kind of hard though. Being yeah, up in Panga right now. For sure. I mean, I, it's easily to you know, it's easy for them to just be, you know, social distancing from everybody up there. But they definitely have to go up the mountain to get the food to do you know to do that stuff. And I haven't seen them for. I was thinking about going and like pulling up in the driveway and just like hanging out and like chatting with them from afar. Yeah. But but then I was, I don't know. I felt like kind of nervous about it. And then my dad's like, let's like, wait, like he loves to come down and have breakfast. Like yeah. every Sunday we do like an early morning breakfast. I, I know, so cute. Tom Mayer. And he, um, he's like, well, why don't we just wait? And like, maybe we could do breakfast in a couple of weeks. Maybe it'll be open then we, we can do it. I'm like, okay. Yeah. He's so funny my dad's well, like i mean oh the sad God, thing is right now there's no traffic so that it, it was always that drive man that yeah. drive was a, a nightmare dream. drive nightmare the day, drive. just going there and yeah. back a absolutely nightmare. it's so <laughs> so crazy my dad has a mohawk right now oh so wait funny. was that a picture on the on the lucas um instagram with yeah. the orange was uh -huh, that a picture so of your dad that's my dad Okay, so I thought it was, and I was like, wait, no. Would he no. wouldn't have so hot. No. Yes, Oh, my did. God. I know. Isn't that crazy? So funny. So um, he's, like, really wanting to get his hair cut, so I haven't cut his hair either. So I'm like, well, just wait. Let's see what we can do with it. So funny. He's been dying it. It's, like, amazing. So much fun. Just since last summer. Crazy. Oh, my God. Well, okay. and what about... What about the fam with you? So you're gonna, how's Vicky? She's good, here. she's good. Everybody's good. I mean, my mom is, you know, she's got itchy feet. So like to, to, yeah. to like keep her in quarantine has been a little bit. I mean, my mom moves, man. She's, she she's does. a goer, she does. She's in a she's different a mover country and a every month. She, Amazing. She's like living her best life. You know what I mean? I, yeah, I love that. I aspire to that. A different country every month. Yes, please. No. When? See, oh, I'm not like that. Yeah. I guess it's just because I grew up kind of like a gypsy. I feel, I felt like my right. lifestyle. My, I grew up kind of a gypsy lifestyle that, like, I'm yeah. cool. I mean, I like to travel. Don't get me wrong. We just went to Vietnam. Yeah. It was amazing. You know what? You would oh. love Vietnam. Have you been to Vietnam? I, no. I oh haven't. my god. I would love to go. You would love Vietnam. I think Rachel's oh going to go with her with her guy. Nice. They're going to Vietnam. Oh, amazing. The people. Yes. Oh my god. It was it was incredible. Um, so, okay. yeah, everybody's just been, you know, everybody's healthy, everybody's safe. Yeah. Um uh what about your dad? Does he have any pre-existing? What about you? Mm -hmm. Do you have that's the thing right now. So pre-existing extra careful. Thyroid. Yeah. I mean, I have, um, I do have some, a little autoimmune, so I've just been trying to, to be careful, but, yeah, you uh, gotta be careful. Yeah. Yeah. My Did dad you... has diabetes and, um, yeah. So does my sister. So they're like, you know, they go out to the store, but they're, you know, they're keeping it, keeping it mellow, but it's a little scary for that, you know, yeah. for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh my God. Chris Ooh. Canny's here. Chris Canny was my best friend in the fourth grade, fourth grade oh. in New York. How amazing, amazing is that? Oh amazing. So cool. A testament to the Chiquitis, See, always and forever. So that's what I said in the beginning of this. This is one of the coolest parts about it. Like, yeah. that you, a, a reminder, guys, this is a reminder. Check in with your people now. Now it's is the time true. to do that. You know what I mean? You it's like, inspired me, for sure. Not that to get is... too heavy, but, you know, the, we're, we're living in some very precarious times right now. And yeah, now's the time. Now's we, the time, man. We are, Chiquitis. It's so true. You really did inspire me for that. I love that you're checking in with everybody. It's really great. And now How is it that we both know Esther? And um, ah, where the hell ah. is Lainey? Where's Lainey in all this? Lainey! She's, not even, she's not even here. I thought for sure she'd be coming on. 
she's not. She's living in Baltimore, Lainey. And Esther, I know. Uh, I mean, I've been doing Esther's hair for a long time. It's so wild. I can't remember how. So much. But isn't it great? I love that. I know. Here's the thing. She's great. As soon as I found that out, I was like, of course, you're, of course you are. <laughs> she, she's really she, cause, great. Because I love her. I, you yes. Know, she's my kind of people. Of course she'd be your people. It's so wild, isn't it? I know. It's totally crazy. It's a small world. It is a small world. LA, baby. That's what it, it is. is. LA. LA. So, uh, have you been, uh, what have you been, I know you, you've been reading something. You got any book racks? You know, I haven't been able to read like I used to. Oh my God, you are. such a bummer. You yeah. are a big reader. I mean, I, I used to read all the time. I'm reading right now. I got the Myra Coleman um did the illustrations on Gertrude Stein's um Alice B. Tokola's um biography so Gertrude Stein wrote a book about Alice B. Tokola's and Myra Coleman um did an illustrated version of it that just came out last month and it's so great oh and my god I'm writing this down because I, I want to share this yeah I want to share it's this. incredible I love She's, that I, She's like my favorite illustrator. She's so incredible. I just love her stuff forever and ever. And um, yeah, it's great. What are you, are you reading? What do you got going? Well, we did a little national poetry in the artist arena. We did a little national poetry month uh, for yes. last month. And so I was reading a lot of poetry. And, oh my and God. then I started to get really depressed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as as one like, does. Okay. Okay, oh my but here's God. the cool thing. I don't know if Rachel's still on here, but Rachel has been writing some amazing poetry. And Incredible. Po and reading it out loud. Was it reading? Yeah. <laughs> um, reading it out you. loud. And uh, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's that's so beautiful. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, but other than that, you know, I'm a person who likes to multitask and listen to audiobooks. I love an audiobook. And I'm, I'm a sucker amazing. for I'm a sucker for a self-help book. Right now I'm reading um, Art and Fear. I mean, Ooh. I'm listening to Art and Fear, yeah. which yeah. Uh, my friend Matt Techie turned me on to, and it's absolutely amazing. I, I can't nice. recommend it enough. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. I, oh, I yeah, would, you would dig it. Yeah. Okay, Art and Fear. I love uh, an audio book. Chaco, I feel like, have you been painting at all? I mean, I know this time or whatever, but have, since, I've, since I've seen you last, have you gotten it? Have you picked up your painting? You guys, she's a fucking I, amazing painter. I have not, I have not been painting at all. I've been like doodling here and there and, okay. um, but nothing, no, I haven't been doing much with that. And I, I just was like trying to get back into, I was really into embroidery for a while. Oh. Like so super into like doing some like fun stuff and I just can't do it. It's like I, I go to do it and I literally can't see, first of all, like what is happening yeah it's like so tiny so i don't know we'll see we'll see what i'm i keep thinking like oh my god this is the time like why am i not doing it I but know. somehow i'm not doing it you know, know. i'm like, trying to do here's my rule right now i'm doing one creative thing a day so i gotta okay. do one creative thing a day otherwise i'll go cuckoo for cocoa puffs i love that so what are you so like like this week i did a video uh, for uh, uh, for Adam's fiftieth, with all of his friends singing that song "Lovely so Day," Paul Withers song. Oh, yeah! It, okay, it was all joy and all Bill love. Bill Withers, fantastic. So, oh um, so God. I've been doing that. I I try and yeah. learn a new, whether it's an app or a new thing. So right now it's a lot of technology stuff, but um, yeah. just trying to do one thing creative. Uh, every I I I uh, shot a commercial during quarantine, and now it's. Okay. It was, um, it, it's, it, it, it's kind of uh, hitting all the, um, the papers right now because it's the, the, the first production in this, Amazing. in this QT of right. a creative way to maneuver through filmmaking. And so I was the DP, I was, you know, there was a director that I was on, you know, the director was on my uh, desktop and I shot it right. on my iPhone, it's for oh. some TV. And um, it just came out. It's, it, and it's, Congratulations. Yeah, it's really, I feel really kind of, this, like uh, I'm part of this trailblazing 
new, yeah. new way of trying to creatively maneuver through being a working actor in this day, in this time, yeah. you know? And it's, it's so important. It's like, it's insane. That's really, really cool. Yeah, I, I cool. can't, uh, yeah, because I can't imagine, you know, it's like, when, like, when is production gonna get back? You know, like, when does that happen? Yeah. It's, it's like, so. I, I, don't, I don't know how it's gonna happen. But, you know, at least it gives me hope to know. Yeah. You, you know, uh, advertisers are thinking outside the box and trying to right. do really interesting things. Um, I know this is this is a great time for it. I love that you did that. That's I know, so right? cool. It's kinda cool. Yeah. Chiquiti. I channeled my mom. Yeah. I'm playing. You mom. did? Mom. You know, your, your buddy, yes. Chiquitis, she is like, her demographic is mom. So, I love uh, it. Uh, which is so funny to me how my career's kind of got into the mom zone. But it's um, amazing. It's very cool. It's very cool. <laughs> Hashtag I grateful, but like, you know, I am the mom person. And anyway, so uh, yeah. I just channeled my mom because she uh, her, her doing FaceTime is hysterical. Is it? Oh my God. Just, it's this. It's yeah. this. I feel like I might be doing that too. I was like trying to do it on my computer and then I was like, okay, I'll just do, I can't, I don't, I'll just do it on my phone and I don't know and what's happening and yeah. That's so funny. I totally see how it's like getting in there. You're all, hello. Look at how gray I am, Chaco. Are you? Well, my husband was like, what's in the back of your head? And I... Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, up a little. I can. Wait, down a little. What, is it just a little? Can you see all the gray? I can see it. It's not bad, Chiquitis. Oh my God, it's so bad. Adam was like, what's in your head? What's on your head? And I was like, what are you talking about? And he's like, You're oh all my God. This? Oh he's like, you should, God. Go, you should go entirely gray. I'm like, oh. that's so sweet. I love that. It's I don't know so if I'm fun. ready to go entirely gray you look, yet. You look great and your hair looks great. No, you have ready. What do you think? Do you think yeah. I'm ready to go gray yet? I, no. I, I don't have vanity gonna... about it necessarily. I would I do think, it if I thought it yeah. was really cool. I just don't know with my face right now. If it, yeah, I sort for. of feel like you can always go gray. Like, no rush. You know, if you're not into it. Well, just, I am you going know. gray now, so it's happening whether I like it or fuck it. Well, not. for a minute. But, like, I think that if you're into it and you're like, whatever, I just want to do my hair gray. I love it. But I, when people are always like, I don't know, you know, I always think like, no, nah, just wait till you're ready. You know, one day you'll be like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. I'm like over it, I'm gonna let it grow in. That but it might be coming sooner than later. It, I mean, it could be, but otherwise, I mean, I just think do whatever makes you feel good, you know? And it's let like- it, Let it be let free, it, free bird that shit. It, wait, the last thing we, right. I have to do before, cause I know you, you, you have, you're on a time constraint here to, for today. But the last thing I want to do is I want to see that tile in your backyard. Can you show me that? My tile. In the yeah, backyard. I saw a picture of your backyard. You had you you, you had it the, this really oh, interesting artwork oh tile. Oh my god, it's so terrible. Can I send you a picture? Yeah. It's like a hot mess right now. Is it? It's not you gonna can send look. Send me good. a picture. I'm gonna you send you a picture. There's a whole bunch of stuff on top of it right now. <laughs> There's like chairs I had to move a bunch of stuff on it and there's a bunch of weeds growing through it so it's not gonna do it justice I don't think but wait yeah, my friend painted God. it she it's like a concrete tile and then she painted a like quilting pattern on it it's so it's, cool wait a minute oh she painted cool. that why did I she painted those, it those were like I thought those were like vinyl things that were really no. they're concrete pavers and then you get concrete paint and you paint, she painted it and it's, it's fantastic. It just happens to look terrible right now, but no I problem. will. We'll take a rain <laughs> check on that. We'll take a rain check on that so you actually can see it. But um, yeah, it was the coolest thing. I was just like, I have no patience for that kind of pattern, but it was like fun to watch, you know? It was just like so meticulous and so perfect. And now it's, you know, it needs a little gardening. Yeah. It's got some stuff happening. But I hear you. I would like to do a big project like that. That would be really fun. Yeah, I know. I, I cleaned out the garage last week and I felt like oh. I just won an Academy Award. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. was like, I You're a, did where that. Do I, I did what that. <laughs> it's I like nature that. though. That's like the big accomplishment. That's sort of how I felt when I like shredded like 10 bags of paperwork. I was just like, <laughs> what? 
is the best. The best. Yeah. I'm giving you a standing O on that. Thank Thank you. you. Oh, my God. Thank you. As me to you, a garage is so major. Right? That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. All right. Well, it's well, good to I, have projects. I did not realize that we, we are still in QT until um, June. Yeah. So I'm just, you know, keeping my eye on the prize. Just like try to hang in there till then. It's bananas. It is bananas. bananas. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do We're gonna it. We're going to do it. We're gonna make Keep it checking happen. in with my peeps and, uh, yeah. you know, just, uh, you know, that small, that business loan stuff right now, it's real. Unemployment's real. All these yeah. things that are happening right now, they take a minute to like get through and, you know, a lot of it's backed up. It is definitely backed up. So yeah, I'm it's hoping so that, true. that, you know, as these days go, that we'll, uh, it'll get, uh, more people will get involved to be able to maneuver through that stuff with a little bit more ease. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I know. It's crazy. It's crazy when you don't do that kind of stuff. And then you're just like, what? Yeah. I got what? I keep but, trying to yeah. trick my brain into, oh, I'm learning a new thing. Oh, I'm learning yeah. a new thing. Oh, I'm learning but, a new thing. <laughs> like, I, I really okay, like that. I got it. I, um, I just um, like to put press on nails on when I'm doing like paperwork, secretarial stuff. I feel like it puts me in this character moment that just feels like, Are you right. serious? Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> it's like, when I'm like in the midst of it, it's so much fun. It's like, oh, oh my God, it's like bank teller in the 80s. Oh nails. my you know God, what I mean? stop it. Wait a minute, wait. You definitely have to share that resource. I am fucking posting that shit. Which one yeah. do you buy? I like the, I think it's like, kiss me or kiss something and they like literally press on and it makes it so much more fun i promise you if you were like wow i hate this try a nail um try a nail. so doing it uh, just so you know so doing it um, okay good I'm buying it yeah that's love it in this house that's you got to do it it'll change your whole game it's, it's gonna like feel a little like working incredible. outside in to make it feel it's, a little yes. bit more like share or, or like Babs. share like Babs. Oh, like Babs. it's so funny Babs Candace Bergen in the 70s <laughs> with those beige nails like like that that whole situation the yes do you remember it was incredible incredible oh my god um, Rocco, I miss you so much I'm so glad that we did this me too oh me god. too buddy Thank, Thank you for, you checking for doing in. all these things with the, these care packages during this time. It's just so freaking cool how the oh, community is coming together and finding creative ways to get through this shit. Yeah. You know what it's I mean? Really we, nice. forget, we forget that like, that, you know, feeling good about ourselves during this time is also really, really important. You know what yeah. I mean? It's really, Absolutely. Especially why the scale's going up. You just need a little, a little yeah. beautiful. You need some of this. Beautiful. You need some of that, you know, whatever. <laughs> Absolutely. Ah, Chiquiti. Taco, I love you. I love thanks, you. Thanks for doing this live with me. Thank I'm gonna you. circle back I now. Can't wait it's not going to take so long. In, in the real one of these days. I'm giving you a big hug. Me oh, too. No. Me too. All right, Chiquitis. Bye, I love guys. you, buddy. Have a great day. Be safe. Have a great one. Mwah. Bye, Taco. See you later. Bye, Chiquitis. Love you. Love Bye. You. Checking in with my peeps. Checking in with my peeps. If you're sitting at home feeling all alone, Laura's checking in with her peeps. We got Jesuit priests and fashionistas, artists and everyday peeps. If it's noon o'clock on Monday, Laura's checking in with her peeps. Well, the fit hit the shan with COVID. Laura said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get up on that Instagram live and I'll talk to folks like you. We'll tell a few jokes and sing a few songs, eat banana pudding and wear some wrong. All the quarantines will TikTok alone. Checking in with my peeps. Checking in with my peeps. Checking in with my peeps. Well, the fit hit the shan with COVID. Lord, checking in with her peeps. We got prison preachers and therapists and teachers, artists and everyday freaks. If it's noon o'clock on Monday, Laura's checking in with her peeps. Every noon o'clock on Monday, Laura's checking in. How y'all doing? With her peeps.